Hello everyone welcome back to my channel. The process of deleting zeros from a currency, often referred to as red denomination, is a complex endeavor with significant implications for the economy and its citizens. In essence, red denomination involves adjusting the face value of the currency by removing zeros from banknotes and coins, thereby simplifying transactions and accounting processes. However, the key question arises. How does one effectively carry out this process without causing harm or inconvenience to the holders of the currency? To understand the intricacies of red denomination, it's essential to grasp the concept of value addition. Simply put, red denomination alone does not inherently increase the value of the currency. If the value remains unchanged, individuals holding the currency would not experience any tangible benefit from the red denomination process. This raises concerns about the fairness and effectiveness of such a strategy, particularly for citizens who have placed their trust in the currency. Moreover, it's crucial to consider the motivations behind red denomination and the interests of various stakeholders involved. Countries like the United States, Great Britain, Canada, Australia, and coalition forces, including the South Koreans, have invested significant resources and efforts in stabilizing Iraq's economy and promoting its growth. It is unlikely that they would support a red denomination process that unfairly disadvantages the Iraqi population or undermines the progress made in rebuilding the country's financial infrastructure. In the context of Iraq, the project to delete the zeros is not simply about removing zeros from banknotes it is intricately linked to the exchange rate and broader economic reforms. By adjusting the exchange rate and subsequently deleting zeros, authorities aim to establish a more stable and internationally competitive currency. This process would effectively reset the value of the currency, creating a one-to-one -one parity with the U.S. dollar, for example, in terms of exchange rate. However, it's essential to recognize that this parity does not necessarily reflect the true value of the currency. Instead, it serves as a starting point for further adjustments based on real effective exchange rates. Rear. The rear takes into account various factors such as inflation, trade balances, and productivity levels to determine the true purchasing power of the currency relative to a basket of foreign currencies. Therefore, the success of the red denomination process hinges on the implementation of complementary measures to enhance the currency's value and credibility in the global market. This may include measures to control inflation, improve fiscal discipline, attract foreign investment and promote economic diversification. By addressing these underlying economic fundamentals, authorities can ensure that the red denomination process translates into tangible benefits for the Iraqi people and contributes to the country's long-term prosperity. In conclusion, the process of red denomination in Iraq is not simply about removing zeros from banknotes it is a multifaceted endeavor aimed at enhancing the value and credibility of the currency. By adjusting the exchange rate and implementing complementary reforms, authorities seek to lay the foundation for a more stable and prosperous economy. However, the success of this endeavor ultimately depends on the effective implementation of policies that promote sustainable growth and foster confidence in the currency. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more insights on Iraq's economic transformation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest updates.